Good morning, everybody. I'm almost the last one here. Okay. Got here pretty late last night, and it was full. Oh, look, a little go-kart dune buggy thingy over there. You see that? Interesting. Oh, what a good morning this is. All right. So, here's our load of white steel. Usually the steel is painted like a dark gray, but they painted this steel white for some reason. So you're going to be able to see all the dirt on it. <laughs> but it doesn't require a tarp, so I'm not tarping it. These little guys on the back here, not going to forget them. It doesn't look like the paint job is exactly the best on these either. Hmm. <laughs> it is what it is. So good morning, we're here uh, just north of St. Joseph, Missouri. We're headed up to Canada. This steel is going to Calgary, Alberta. Uh, we're gonna swing past home on the way. So we're going up through Emerson, Manitoba, and then across the Canadian West from there. Uh, we're not going to get home tonight yet. I'm going to take her easy. we got lots of time to get to Calgary in no rush whatsoever. So I'm going to take her easy today. Maybe stop for a walk sometime halfway through our day. Just relax. Don't stress out too much. And we'll be home tomorrow for the night until Saturday. And then we'll start heading towards Calgary. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. You don't want to miss a, miss a vlog. We're on what? 1,840 something right now. Been making vlogs for quite a while. So there's a lot to catch up on if you're new, but if you want to, you can just start from here, hit that bell beside the subscribe button. That way you won't miss it when I release my next one tomorrow. And here we go. So this trip is gonna be all about saving that fuel. We got lots of time to get there and it's a very light load, pretty streamlined, much better than that brick wall I was carrying before so let's see how good we can do I'm gonna be sticking to around about 60 miles an hour or uh, 98 kilometers an hour 97 kilometers an hour and we'll see what we can come up with I think this should be a pretty good trip This guy in front of me is scaring me. He's got a load on his trailer there that is not tied down by the looks of it. I want to get around him. Let's see. I'll come up beside him here. I don't think that's tied down. Nope. It's just sitting on the trailer bed. Not tied down at all. Three pallets of bricks. Look at this guy. What in the world? Why would you do that, bud? Not one strap. Just sitting there. It's just sitting there. Okay, I gotta... I can't get past him. Oh. It doesn't look like it's going anywhere, but... <laughs> if he has to hit the brakes quickly or make a sudden lane change... He's in big trouble. Go 
good. He's getting out of this lane. Long this road for 914 kilometers. I'm kind of nervous to see what the this driver in front of me is seeing that that load's not tied down either. He's trying to get the attention of that guy. I don't know what that's going to do, getting his attention. He knows he didn't tie it down. He entered the freeway knowing full well that he had three pallets of bricks on his trailer with no securement. Proceed to the highlighted route. Looks like a, a commercial, well, like a business pickup. I wonder if he's got his business name on the side of his pickup. I can't get beside him, though. We are at the corner of... Nebraska, Iowa, and South Dakota. We're in Iowa. Once we get through Sioux City here, we'll be in South Dakota. We won't actually touch Nebraska. But it's just across the river over there to our left. So from here, we just got two states to go until we're back up in Canada. We won't make it there tonight. I probably could make it there. But we're going to take it a little easy, like I said. We're in no rush. I'm trying to save fuel, but you know, of course when I get a good load like this and a lot of time when I can save fuel, of course I'm I'm headed directly into a strong headwind. So uh, it's kind of hard to save fuel when Mother Nature is dragging you down, working against you, quite literally. But we're doing what we can. This is Sioux City. This is uh, Sioux City, Iowa. The other side of the line is Sioux City, South Dakota. Same city, different states. I'm not sure if Sioux City spreads into Nebraska at all on that side of the river, but that would be kind of cool, eh? One city, three states. <laughs> They've been working on this freeway through here for at least a decade. I have never in my life driven through South Dakota here, or Sioux City, without there being construction right here, ever. I've been driving through here for over 10 years. They seem to be making progress. When you look at what they're doing on the other side over there, they seem to be making progress. But how is it taking so long? It's just a constant state of construction. But I guess it's providing jobs for these guys here. <laughs> At least they got something to do. All right, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and it's time for a bath. Pulled into the Loves, just on uh, I-90 east of the I-29. Just past Sioux Falls, I guess it's north of Sioux Falls. Uh, we're gonna get in line here for a bath. This truck is dirty. Dirty girl. Oh, it's so bright. Why am I not wearing my shades? Oh, there we go. Too cool for school. Right, Diesel? No? No? Come on. Thought at least you'd think I was cool. No? So, yeah, they got two bays here, so this should go pretty quickly. I don't know why we're idling, wasting fuel. We should go pretty, pretty quickly. I actually haven't stopped at this Blue Beacon before. I've stopped at this truck stop a couple of times, but it's, it's usually off my route because I don't usually come by here that often because this is, I go down the I-29 all the time, right? Because that's the artery that leads up to Canada, up to Manitoba. And uh, we go right past here, but I don't always come onto the I-90 and it's about a couple of miles east yet. I usually stop at the Flying J right on the I-29. So not too often that I've stopped here. But I saw the signs, and signs work, you know. The billboard said, hey, stop and have a truck wash. I said, well, that's a great idea. Thank you very much. And here we are, right, Diesel? That's my story. Here comes the rinse. Oh, it feels good. Oh, it feels good. Oh, I love bubble baths. Oh, that's so good. It feels so clean. You smell clean, you look clean, nothing feels better than being clean. Beautiful. So as soon as they're done rinsing me off here, they're gonna open up these doors in front of me and we'll be out of here. I had to wait an hour and a half for a, for a bath today. 
But Diesel, you've been very good. You've been a very good boy. He used to try to attack the water through the window. Now he just looks at it. What you doing, man? What you doing? You getting yourself wet, man? I'm too old for this stuff. Oh. So many of them. So many. Which one do I start with? <laughs> Alright, I think that'll be it. Okay. Got the thumbs up. Get everybody's out of my way. They're ready for me to roll forward. Right on. Thanks, bud. And off we go. Now, hopefully, we don't get a rainstorm in the next day or two. Really much appreciate it if the weather would cooperate and not screw up my good clean truck. So yeah, we got about another six hours we can drive today. Yeah, we'll be driving into the night. Used up all my brake time already, so any more brakes that we take will be coming directly out of our driving time for today. That's okay. Like I said before, we're not in too big of a hurry. That's why today was a good day to have to wait for a bath. Uh-oh, somebody took off that international's fender there. You see that? Well, let's try not to hit the puddle. I just washed my truck. There we go. How do I get out of here? Here we go. Of course there's a casino right here. We're in South Dakota now. <laughs> wait. Wait, is this not the way out? Why is that guy turning around? What are you, what, what's that guy doing? Oh, he's going on to the scale. Oh, okay, well that's, well, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> this is the exit, right? Hopefully not just the entrance. No, this sign is facing this way. It says, loves, no drop trailers. Well, no worries, I took my trailer with me. I think this is the exit anyway. I'm gonna be making it an exit. It's an exit now. Trucker Josh says it's an exit. It's an exit. Gotta wait for one more car coming from our right there. Come on. Come on. Let's get out of here. We gotta keep heading north. Meters. Take the entrance to the left on I-90 West.
There's our exit. Coffee cup. Exit 207, Interstate 29, northbound, South Dakota. It's a Senex. This is exactly where we stopped, uh, not last night, but the night before. Uh, it's about four hours to the border with Canada from here. So uh, I've got some, this, this shipment I've got on me is kind of special. I gotta uh, go and talk to the load broker at the border and stuff, make some phone calls before I get there. So it's a little different than usual. This guy's got his high beams on behind me, blinding me in my mirrors. How dare you? This guy's got his high beams on too. I'm being blasted from both sides. I got a guy with high beams behind me, got this guy with high beams in front of me. I'm gonna blast him back. Pow! <laughs> right in your face, how do you like it? Terrible person. In okay, 500 so. meters, make a U-turn if possible, and then take the entrance to the right in 220 meters. Huh? Here it is. Coffee cup travel plaza. These are actually very nice travel plazas. It's a, it's a franchise up in well in South Dakota. That's where I've seen them the most. A couple of really nice ones out here. Continue okay. on this road for 16 kilometers. <laughs> 16 kilometers! Karen, how big do you think this truck stop is? We're not even on a road. You just want me to do laps in here or what? I want to go to bed. You can do laps yourself if you want. I'm going to park in the same spot we parked in last time, I think. Way out in the back. All by our lonesome. All by ourselves. Oh, there's like nobody parked back here today. Good, 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 good. Oh, lots of people parked over there. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. See, I don't know what they're doing here. They got all this construction. They got this excavator just hanging out. Oh, it's blocking a big hole in the ground. Oh, I see what they're doing. Clever, clever. Because people would have fallen in that hole if they wouldn't have put that there. Guarantee it. I'm going to park with all these good people back here. Just gonna roll past them slowly with my window down to make sure that they don't uh actually I just washed my truck. Do I want to park on the gravel? It's not gonna be dusty because the gravel's wet, but the, the tires are gonna be all dirty now. Hey. Just gonna go around all the wet soil. All these guys are idling. idling. This guy's got a reefer. Nope. Nope. These guys will be quiet. These guys are local drivers. They're just probably parked here for the night, probably sleeping somewhere else. No, well, he took the last spot. Okay. Oh, we found a spot all by ourselves. Look at this diesel. Look at this. Got one little quiet neighbor over there. Beautiful. Beautiful. So thank you so much for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button. If you liked the video, hit the down vote. If you thought it was terrible, if you liked it, share it with your friends. If you liked it, chances are they'll like it too. If you hated it, share it with your friends and make fun of me. As long as they watch the video, I'm happy with that. I'll see you tomorrow. We're gonna get home tomorrow. It's exciting. I'm just going home for the night. Saturday afternoon, or today's Thursday, so tomorrow's Friday. The next day in the afternoon, we gotta move on, move along towards Calgary.